Have you ever wondered about the impact of the COVID stimulus package on the global and U.S. economy? Let's delve into it. The COVID stimulus package, a colossal injection of funds into the economy, was a lifeline for many during the height of the pandemic. The immediate effects were palpable. Consumer spending surged as wallets thickened with stimulus checks, providing a temporary relief for businesses teetering on the brink. This influx of spending in turn gave a hearty boost to the stock market, buoying it amidst uncertain times. But let's shift our gaze to a more contentious issue, inflation. Some argue that the stimulus package, while necessary, had a significant impact on inflation rates. Critics point to the consumer price index, suggesting that certain items, such as shelter, have been excluded from the calculation, thereby downplaying the true rate of inflation. This controversy isn't without its complexities, though. Some economists argue that the stimulus package's effect on inflation is temporary and will eventually subside. Others worry that this surge in inflation might be more than just a passing phase, hinting at a long-term trend. Yet amidst these debates, it's crucial to remember that the alternative to the stimulus package might have been a longer recession and more job losses. This rapid recovery, however, did come with its share of costs, high inflation being one of them. As a result, many people feel like they're running in place or even falling behind as their incomes don't stretch as far as they used to. The impact of the stimulus is unevenly distributed, with some individuals feeling the pinch of surging prices and stagnant incomes more acutely. This has prompted skepticism about fiscal policy's potential to cause inflation and the importance of prudent fiscal policy during a potential recession. As we delve deeper, we'll start to see that the situation isn't as straightforward as it may seem. Now let's take a step back and compare the economic situation before and after the COVID stimulus. Before the pandemic hit, the economy was in a relatively strong position. Employment was high with the job market thriving, growth was steady, and inflation was stable. The financial landscape was promising, and the economic forecast was positive. However, with the advent of COVID-19, the economic landscape drastically changed, businesses shuttered, jobs were lost, and a sudden economic downturn ensued. The situation was dire, and it became apparent that intervention was needed. Thus, the rationale for the stimulus was born. The goal was to inject money into the economy, support struggling businesses, and mitigate job losses. Fast forward to the post-stimulus economy. The recovery has been remarkable in many ways. We've seen businesses reopen, jobs rebound, and economic growth. However, it's not all sunshine and roses. The controversy surrounding inflation has taken center stage. With the influx of stimulus money, inflation rates have soared. While some argue this is a temporary setback, others worry about the long-term effects. Many people feel that their incomes do not buy as much as before COVID, leading to a sense of running in place or falling behind. Moreover, the distribution of the stimulus impact has been unequal. Some individuals have been hit hard by surging prices and stagnating incomes, leading to frustration and skepticism towards fiscal policy. It's clear that the stimulus has had a significant impact, but the question remains, was it worth the cost? The cost of the COVID stimulus isn't just about the dollars spent, it's also about the potential long-term effects on the economy. In the years following the stimulus, we've seen inflation rates on the rise. Some argue that the stimulus package, with its massive injection of cash into the economy, may have contributed to this inflation. When the supply of money increases faster than goods and services can be produced, prices tend to go up. It's basic supply and demand. Inflation impacts everyone, but it hits the lower and middle classes the hardest. As prices increase, people find that their incomes don't stretch as far as they once did. A loaf of bread, a gallon of milk, a tank of gas, these everyday items become more expensive, and many people are left feeling like they're running in place or even falling behind. The stimulus also added to the already substantial government debt. This debt will need to be addressed eventually, and it's future generations who may bear the brunt of this burden. The choices we make today could have far-reaching implications, shaping the economic landscape for years to come. Another cost of the stimulus is its unequal distribution. Not everyone benefited equally from the stimulus measures. Some individuals and sectors fared better than others. For instance, while the stimulus helped many businesses stay afloat during lockdowns, others were unable to survive the downturn. This has led to a sense of frustration and inequity, as some people see their neighbors prospering while they struggle to make ends meet. All these factors contribute to the true cost of the COVID stimulus. It's not just about the price tag of the stimulus package itself, but also the ripple effects it has had on our economy and society. As we navigate the post-stimulus economy, it's critical to keep these potential costs in mind. 
So where does this leave us on the impact of the COVID stimulus on the global and U.S. economy? To sum up, we've seen the immediate effects of the stimulus, an injection of funds that provided temporary relief to companies and individuals. We've compared the economy before and after the stimulus, observing a rapid recovery but also a surge in prices. We've also explored the potential long-term costs, including high inflation and a growing skepticism towards fiscal policy. As we continue to recover from the economic impact of COVID, it's clear that the stimulus has played a significant role. But whether that role was for better or for worse, that's a question we'll be grappling with for years to come.